Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. This is chemistry. And today we we'll continue our study on oxidation and reduction reactions. And today specifically we are going to be looking at ways ways of looking for redox in reactions. All right, I'm going to specifically focus on ways of looking for redox in what? In reactions. All right, do not forget, of course, that this video today is brought to you by the one and only best CBT practice app that you need for short success in your examination. And that is the O3 Schools Jam CBT practice app. All right, it is structured exactly like your what? Like your Jam Word exam. All right, so it has wonderful features that will make you all succeed. For example, there's a classroom feature that teaches you as you what, what practice questions there. It teaches you and leads you to the answer. It does not just tell you the answer. So that what you will not learn. So it teaches you. In fact, you can even chat with it. You can ask it specific questions. Something maybe it's a, it's a confusing thing that making you not to get the not to know that the answer is B or C. Just ask it some specific question. It will answer you. It will give you exactly what you need, but it will not tell you what the answer is. Only you can decide the answer from what it is teaching you. So you can study on what on that classroom feature perfectly well all right wonderful other features like question set feature like now after you are done with what acquisition and reduction reaction you can go to question search feature go to chemistry search for redox Redox, just search for redox. Just use the keyword redox, and all the questions under oxidation and reduction reaction will what will come out for you, so you can answer them, and you'll be what you feel confident. In fact, you will appreciate these videos more because you will see what your exam questions are. Ah, this is what uh, uh, Master T just taught us now, so it's very, very, very what easy. All right, now also there's also another wonderful feature we call the UTME challenge. The UTME challenge is a challenge we conduct for jam students every Saturday till one week to the jam exam. But first of all, you must have the Jam app on your phone downloaded, and of course, and you must activate what the app. What does the challenge help you to do? The challenge what gives you what a uh, uh, Jam what standard Jam questions to what to answer. All right, and of course, you are competing with what with other what Jam bites. You know that you are competing with other Jam bites to win prizes. Prizes is just one one of the reasons why you should what, participate in that challenge. Other reasons is that we release what your score according to your subjects after every challenge. After every challenge, you will release your results. So once you see your results, you can know the areas that you need to perform better. You can see the areas that are already performing what better. So you can gauge your performance what and what know your performance analysis. All right. Also, you are getting used to how jam set questions because these questions are jam standard questions. And thirdly, your confidence is building towards what the main exam. And when the main exam comes, bam, you crush it. All right. Now. Know that what you must activate this app to get what full benefit of the app. Activation is just 3,000 error. As at the time of shooting this video, it may increase. In fact, in previous years, it was 2,005. There was a time it was 1,500. So it may keep on increasing. So please get your app today. And if, in case you want to activate or you want to get the PC version, the app is also available for Android phone, for laptops, or computers, for PC, and also available for iOS soon. So please make sure that what you get what the app, in case you want to activate the app or you want the link to download the app for your computer just send a message on whatsapp on this number 091215152246 that is all you need to do just send a message to this number on whatsapp and of course we will give you a favorable reply all right let's see ways of looking for redox in reactions the most effective way of looking for redox in reactions that is what looking for the oxidized species looking for the oxidized species or looking for the reduced species in a reaction is by looking at the oxidation number in the ionic equation the best way of looking for redox that's looking for the oxidized and reduced species in a reaction is by looking at the oxidation number of the species in the ionic equation in the ionic equation this is the best and most effective way of looking for what redox in what in reactions that means you'll be giving a reaction first of all you need to follow, write out the ionic what equation and after you have written the ionic equation you have written out the oxidation state you cannot know which one is the reduced species or which one is what is the oxidized what species all right now 
if the oxidation number of a particular species increases that means it is the or it is the what is the oxidized was species that means oxidation as what has occurred and what it is the oxidized was species so like i say if the oxidation number of a particular species if it increases if it increases it is the oxidized species all right it is the oxidized word species but if the oxidation number decreases if it decreases it means it is what it is the reduced species all right so please you must take note of that so that is the best way the most effective way is to what first of all what write out the ionic equation and then see the oxidation number and then you can be able to what to see if the oxidation number increases or decreases and of course if it increases it is the oxidized species and if it decreases it is the reduced species and another important thing that you need to know of course is that usually the oxidized species is the reducing agent the oxidized species is the reducing agent while the reduced species is what is the oxidizing agent please take note of that this are this are how our jam said that question if you like just go to the school jam app search for redox reactions you will see what questions under under our redox this is how what their questions were are set all right so the oxidized species the oxidized species is the reducing agent All right, the oxidized species is the reducing agent while the reduced species, the reduced species is the oxidizing agent, is the oxidizing agent. Please take note of that. It is very, very, very important. So once you see the oxidized species, you know that well, it is the reducing what agent, All right? So they may ask you which, which, which of the following what, uh, uh, atoms is what is the oxidizing agent in this reaction so what you need to do is to look forward for the oxidized species then that oxidized species becomes the reducing agent while the one that is reduced becomes the oxidizing agent so let's quickly see example to drive out this point on so say we are given two reactions and then we are asked to what to look for the oxidized and the reduced what species all right for example we are giving this reaction to mg plus o2 to give you 2 mgo all right for example i given this word reaction we are asked to well, look for the oxidized and the reduced word species so of course i've told you that the most effective way of course is to what look for the oxidation number in the what in the what reaction right and of course you cannot be able to what, to detect the what the oxidized and the reduced word species first of all we need to well, write the ionic equation all right now this mg here magnesium is in the free state it is not combined with any what element it is in the free state and in the previous episode for, the, for those of you that don't like going back to what to see the beginning of the topic and what watching all the way to where we are that is a problem in the last episode i've told you that any atom that is in the free state right has an oxidation number of zero all right that means that the oxidation number of what of magnesium here is what is zero so let's write out what the ionic equation of course, I'm going to have 2 mg, that is 0, then plus O2 is also what? In the free state here, all right? It's in the free state. So the oxidation number of oxygen there will also be what? Also, also be what? Be 0. So this will give us now, this is 2 mg. mg is not in the free state. MgO, that combined. Magnesium is now combined with oxygen. It is no longer in the free state. So we need to what? write out what? The ionic equation. So I'm going to have, of course, 2 mg. 2 plus because the addition number of magnesium is what is 2 plus right it's a group 2 what element we did periodic table and we have seen all those all right it's a group 2 element it has addition number of what of plus 2 you must know all these things so it's not nobody will come and tell you that magnesium has addition number of plus 2 nobody will tell you that so you must know by default okay so please go and watch periodic table and what and understand better then of course oxygen also here is not in the free state so i'm going to have o what this is what o what minus okay so that is that so now oxygen here you can see the thought is now what negative magnesium is what sort is plus two now let us now see which is the reduced or oxidizing what uh the, the, the reduced or the oxidized species now magnesium 
magnesium, the oxidation number of magnesium changes from zero to what to plus two. And when oxidation number increases, right, due to loss of electrons, that is called what? What is it called? That is what oxidation. So that means what? Or the oxidized species here is what? Is magnesium because so oxidized species. Oxidized species is Mg because oxidation number oxidation number increased from zero to to plus two. All right. So as you can see clearly here, the oxidation number of what magnesium has increased from zero to what to plus two. That means it what. It is what the oxidized what species, and of course, because it is the oxidized species, it means magnesium is the what is the reducing what agent in that what reaction reducing agent. All right, please take note of that. Okay, now also oxygen here is in the free state, having an oxidation number of zero, and then when it combined here, it now turns to what minus minus one. All right, so. Now that means that what the oxidation number of what oxygen has changed from zero to what to minus one. It, does that mean it, it, is that an increase or a decrease from zero to minus one? Zero to minus one is a decrease. Zero is a bigger is a bigger number than what than minus one. This means that what that the reduced species here is what of course is the oxygen. Okay, so now look at what the reduced species. Yeah, of course it's what. Is now what oxygen O2. Now that means that what because the reason is because the oxidation number decreased from zero to minus one. All right, now and this means that what oxygen is what, of course, oxygen is the oxidizing agent. Oxygen is the what oxidizing agent. All right, so please, you must take note of that. You must take note of that. So this is just the way of what looking for, for redox in reaction. Now, we are going to drive this point home. I'm sure you are clear of this. There's nothing you should not be clear, you should be unclear about now. So this is very, very, very clear. Now, let us take one more example to drive this point home, right? For example, let's see um, another reaction to drive this point home. Let's see, for example, zinc plus CuSO4, now giving you what? ZnSO4 plus Cu. All right? This is a solid. This is a aqueous. This is aqueous, and then this is solid. All right, now, let's take note of this. Okay, now, first of all, what to do, of course, as I've said earlier, is to write out what the ionic, the ionic what, equation. So, right now, the ionic equation now, I'm going to have, of course, Z n all right this is what the, the oxidation number here is what is zero of course it's what is zero oxidation number here is zero then plus cu so4 is combined it's not in the free state zn is in the free state it is alone that's why the oxidation number is zero but this one is what is combined so i want to have what now uh cu oxidation number of copper is what is two two plus then so4 2 minus the oxidation number of what SO4 is what 2 minus. No, you must know these things. I'm sure you already will know them. Okay, so Cu2 plus. Then, of course, when it, the product now is still combined here, so I'm going to have Zn, of course, is what is 2 plus. That is what the oxidation number of what of zinc and SO4 is C2 minus, of course. Then we have what copper, then plus what Cu, which is what now 0. Copper is in the free state, it is what alone there. It is alone. That's why we are having zero there. Now, we have seen this now. It is now expedient for us to now uh, decipher which is the oxidized or the reduced water species. So let's look at the oxidized species now. Now, how do you know which is the oxidized species? Let's look at zinc first. Zinc, the oxidation number of zinc had jumped from zero here yeah, to plus two. All right. So it was zero here yeah, initially, but here yeah, it's what now plus two. So that means the oxidized species here is what is zinc because the oxidation number increased from zero to plus two. So oxidized species here is what is zinc. That is what oxidation number increased from zero to 
plus 2 from 0 to plus 2 2 to plus 2 so now that is what the oxidize was special and of course that means that zinc is the what is the reducing agent all right then of course let's see for copper copper here was what what two plus before right and then it's what came to what zero here so the oxidation number of copper reduced from two to what to zero all right that means the reduced species The reduced species is what? Because of that, it's what now? Copper. All right. Why? Oxidation number. Right. Reduced from plus two, from two to what? To zero. All right. That is that. And that means that what? Of course, that copper is the oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent. All right, that means that copper is the oxidizing what agent. Now I've not seen that now. What about SO42 minus? <laughs> so you may want to ask what about SO42 minus? SO42 minus from it was initially what minus two, and then when it got here, it's still what minus two. It did not change. Why does the oxidation number of SO42 minus not change? The reason why it does not change because SO42 minus did not partake in the redox. It does not, it did not partake in the what in the redox what reaction at all. Right now. And ions, note this, note this, this is a typical exam question. Ions that are present in a redox reaction but do not partake in the reaction themselves are called spectator ions. They are spectator ions. Spectator ions. Spectator ions are ions that are present in the redox reaction but do not participate in the redox. Therefore, their word oxidation number remains unchanged. They are called spectator ions. If you have not liked this video, what you are doing is very, very wrong. It's very bad. Please click on that like button. If you have not subscribed, you are in fact doing yourself because subscription is free, first of all, and it makes you to be notified whenever we release any new video. It makes you keep track of us. And do not forget to share this video. My name is Olabitangod, aka Master T, and I'll see you in the next class.